This video describes a new feature added to Stack Graphics 19 called the Dashboard. The Dashboard displays tables and graphs from various analyses in a Statfolio and highlights the background, red, yellow, or green, depending upon various conditions. In setting up a dashboard, you first start by defining the number of rows and columns in which tables and graphs can be displayed. You also specify whether they should be arranged in a vertical fashion or a horizontal fashion. For particular procedures, such as control charts, you may choose to color the background red, yellow, or green, depending upon the data. For example, the default is to color a background of a control chart red if there are one or more points beyond the control limits. The background is colored yellow if there's a violation of a runs rule and green if none of the above. In addition to alerts for control charts, you can define alerts for regression analyses, age R&R studies, capability analyses, stock charts, and dashboard pages. To show you how it all works, I'm here in Stack Graphics 19 in an empty Statfolio. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read in some data from an Excel file. There's an Excel file that I've created called Dashboard Data that has a couple samples that would be typical of the data that would be calculated to do a control chart or a capability analysis. You can see the data here. There are two variables of interest. The first is the strength of glass bottles, and samples have been taken every 10 minutes. We also have samples of electronic components and in this case the resistivity has been measured by taking one sample every day. Before I do anything else I'll select the dashboard and arrange the panes the way I want them. By default there are 25 locations per page where I can paste tables and graphs. That's more than I need here today, so I'll push the right mouse button, go to Arrange Panes, and tell it that I'll be happy with two rows and two columns. I'll also, also make sure that the checkbox for indicating alerts is checked, so that when I paste analyses, tables and graphs into the dashboard, it'll color the background according to happening in that particular procedure. Let's start by doing a control chart for the bottle strength. I'll go to the top menu to SPC, Control Charts, Variables Control Charts Basic. Since the data were taken one at a time, I'll ask for individuals charts. And the data to be plotted are in strength and the indices are time. I'll just go ahead, press OK, and by default, it'll generate for me an X chart and an MR2 chart. You might notice that although the X chart is fairly clean, there are no points beyond the three sigma limits, there is a point beyond the three sigma limits in the MR2 chart. Now to copy this to the dashboard, I'll go first to the X chart, Push the right mouse button and say copy pane to dashboard. That will bring up the dashboard. If I push the right mouse button and say paste link, the X chart is put in the first position. You notice the background is red. That's because there is an alert in that procedure. Not necessarily on that chart, but that analysis at least. I'll also go back and uh, do the same thing with the MR2 chart. I'll copy the pane to the dashboard, paste link it here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a capability analysis on resistivity. Again, we'll go to SPC, this time to capability analysis, variables, individuals. The 
data are in the column called resistivity. They've been sampled once per day. In the case of the resistivity, there's a upper specification limit of 600. And I'll go ahead and take that. One thing I will have to change, it turns out that resistivity is not normally distributed. In fact, it's quite skewed to the right. It turns out, however, that a largest extreme value distribution is pretty good, so I'll switch to that, take the defaults, and in a moment you'll see a capability plot here. This is a capability plot for resistivity using the largest extreme value distribution. And one of the alerts that occurs by default in the case of a capability analysis is whether PPK is above 1.33, that would be green, above 1, that would be yellow, or below 1, that would be red. So if I now copy this pane to the dashboard and paste link it, you'll see that it comes up yellow. By the way, you can also paste into the dashboard tables. And I'm going to paste my table of capability indices in there as well. Paste link. And now you can see the information from those two analyses in the dashboard. An important thing to note is that when I pasted the tables and graphs into the dashboard, I did it with a paste link. That means that what you're seeing in the dashboard is linked back to the original analyses, which are themselves linked back to the Excel file. If I was to save this all the way as a statfolio, come back tomorrow and reload it, if the data in the Excel file had changed, the analyses will have changed, and the graphs in the dashboard will have changed. In fact, they may have changed color depending upon what the conditions happen to be on that new data. To demonstrate this for you, let me just go back for a moment to the individuals charts and take a look at that MR2 chart. You can see the reason they're coming up red, those charts, is this point at row 3 being beyond the upper control limit. Let me go up here to the top ribbon bar and ask to exclude that particular data point. What that will do is that will remove that row. It was row 3 from the analysis. And you can see it changes quite a bit, the MR2 chart. There are no longer any points outside the control limits, although, although there is a runs rule violation right here. And as you might expect, if I click back to the dashboard, the color of those panes has changed from red to yellow.